podcast community. Thank you. So welcome to the January 19th um, chaos community meeting. We have an action-packed agenda and I will share my screen just to make it easier to go through. I actually did some work in between meetings for a change. So I feel pretty excited about that personally. Yeah. Um, Way to make the rest of us look bad. <laughs> I did a metrics model and a metric. I know, I saw your metrics model in that meeting. I think, <laughs> okay, um, so first question on the agenda, should we archive our minutes? On the one hand, it's nice to start fresh at the beginning of the year. On the other hand, we meet every other week, so we don't have a ton of like the documents not super long, 49 pages, I guess. What do people think? I would say archive because we have been doing it every year. So keeping a proper uh, uh, that is structure. I think every year we archive it. So maybe we just do that, follow the pattern. Okay, I'm good with that. Yeah, I'm going to archive. Um, okay, anyone want to volunteer to do that? I can do that. Okay. Cool. Um, Time-based metrics review. So it looks like, Manon, you said you updated the... Um, yes, I the metric, was, I think there was, oh yeah, there was just a typo in the file name. I felt bad yeah. we couldn't it last time, it was so close. Yep. <laughs> I, just, I, I saw it in the morning before coming to this meeting. I'm like, this is a quick fix, let me do it. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens over the holidays, right? <laughs> things just Things just don't get done. We forget about them. Okay. Anybody have any? Oh, there's a fox in my backyard. That's cool. Yeah, I haven't oh. seen it in my backyard. Oh, sorry, I was gonna take a picture for. No, for you. That's way more important. I haven't seen any foxes. Oh, that's <laughs> so cool. I'm just hanging out back yeah. there. Foxes are amazing, but uh, if the fox is there, maybe the it is not a very good. Uh, it is not very good news because. Uh, uh, it means that the folks uh, didn't find a prey in the in the forest. So, yeah, we actually we actually live right on a green space. So, um, so we were kind of surprised that we hadn't seen any yet because there's all there's all kinds of trees like right next to where we live. Yeah. Um, oh, that's super cool. Okay. Uh, Oh, oh um, does anybody have any feedback before I go ahead and merge this? <laughs> I think it's good to merge. Yeah, I mean, if it was just a name yeah. change or a name update. Okay, cool. So we'll let's go ahead and merge this. Okay, that's done, and that was our only that was our only pull request. So we will, uh, yep, so that's um, done and merged. Cool. Um, metrics models. Uh, like I said, I actually I actually did some I did some work in between. Um, now, uh, did this get talked about in the metrics model meeting? Your I metric model? Yes, it yeah. did. Okay, um, so I, think, I, I don't. Remember, I can't remember the resolution. I don't know if Elizabeth does. Uh, oh. I, I do. Um, we, yeah. sorry, I haven't posted the video yet. That's my bad. Um, we did look through it. Um, we had a very small group. There was only four of us there. So, okay. uh, and like Yuhui wasn't there or, you know, any any of the other like core, core members. So mm -hmm. we did look at it. Um, I think the resolution was that this group would also look at it and like finalize it. And then maybe okay. back one more time at metrics models to just give it the final okay but it looked really good like we were yeah just kind of like yeah this looks awesome so that part okay. i remember yeah. 
Uh, I think there was one metric that needs to be developed before even we finalize this, I guess, was also one yes. of the comments. Yes, it was yes. excellent. So yes. Release. Yes. And we'll, yeah. we'll talk about the release cadence. Uh, yes. Actually, so you know one... what? Let's talk about the release cadence first. How's that? Does that make yeah. more sense? Sure. I think maybe. Yeah. But yeah, I had that... one. Yeah. I had one question about the release cadence, which is data sourcing. Do we want to source just from platform releases, or do we want to also try to source from package managers? Uh, so, so the way, so I think that's an implementation detail as opposed yeah. to a fixed definition detail. So okay. what I did, but it's a really, really good point. So what I did was I added this bit after you uh, commented on the. Um, on the issue, mm -hmm. oh, so okay. added this bit about data collection strategies um, because it, yeah. it, you make a good point. I mean, not everybody releases puts releases in the same places, so yeah. I think it's up to the project to decide where they want to collect this from um, okay. because there are loads of different places that you could collect yeah. the data from. Okay, that's that's okay. good. That uh, that makes it clear, and then the implementation can explicitly state what they're doing. Okay. Um, so do we want to take a few minutes and uh, let people read through this and just put comments, suggestions? Do you want me to kind of walk through it? Do you have a, a preference on how we, how we do this? I don't really have a preference between the two. I'm happy to just give it like five minutes and read through it right now. Okay. Well, let's do that. Let's give, let's okay. give it. Uh, a few minutes, just um, have a look. I'm gonna drop the link in the chat so that you can leave your feedback on it. Are we okay to keep the recording going? Sometimes conversations do arise. Yeah, let's keep it going just in okay. case. People can fast forward if they need to.
And don't forget to add yourself to the known contributors at the bottom if you're providing suggestions. People need a few more minutes or should we start walking through the suggestions? I'm good to okay. walk through the suggestions if you'd like. Sounds good. Okay. Um, let's just go from the top. Um, so there's a proposal to change this from release cadence to release frequency, which I think is a uh, way better title for this metric. Does anybody anybody disagree? I think Kevin's suggestion is a good one. Yeah, frequency is a more commonly used word. So I, I think like cadence makes a lot of sense to me, but. That's only because I studied software engineering deeply. Yeah. <laughs> I think frequency is a more accessible term. Okay, so let's do that. And I will change it here as well. Frequency. And then when we go through the um, metrics model, we'll change it there as well. Um, Kevin, do you want to? Uh, uh, yeah, so we've 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 talked about uh, we we kind of have some general guidelines for when we name things that are tagged as kind of life uh, time duration or lifestyle metrics. Mm -hmm. uh, however, this is not uh, fre frequency frequency metrics are not one that we've discussed prior. Uh, we've we've discussed, and if we if you scroll down to the bottom, the, the guidance is in the template. That's why I was wondering about my overtime component at the end of the sentence. Is this point that you're making, Kevin? Yeah, so I'm so I'm wondering if we should add guidance based on this naming so that in the future when we have frequency metrics, we can use a similar naming policy. And maybe based on the guidance that we have now, maybe it's the maybe the the guidance would be event frequency. If you if you scroll down to the okay. Uh, you'll see the uh, right there, the naming convention for time-based metrics, right? Time to event, event duration, event age. And maybe we add a line that is event frequency. Uh, so when we have these, these cadence or frequency metrics, then we, we, in the future, we have some, some guidance on, on how to name them. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, that's a good idea. Uh, yeah. And so obviously more important to get that guidance into the template. Um, yeah, so sure. this and all of this is the template that I copied in here. So yeah. any changes that we want to make to this, we actually need to make this in the template itself. Yeah. Um, you can give me that action item if you want to put that in the yeah. meeting minutes. I can make that change to the template. Sure. So Kevin, I just put a line in. I don't know if you see the bottom of the release frequency metric like event frequency is that what you're suggesting yeah that's that's what i was thinking but uh at the same time i was i was kind of i was opening up for discussion so i don't know if that's but something along those lines uh, that frequency would... frequency is what i grabbed simply because that was the that was actually the definition of release cadence it was release cadence is the frequency so uh so just Get rid of cadence and just say, well, if frequency is the definition, let's just use frequency. Yep, I think that makes total sense. Yeah, I mean, within open source projects and companies, we tend to talk about release cadence, um, mm -hmm. but we do really mean frequency. And I think that's a, uh, I think that's more clear. So we used to have synonyms, but now we have a tag, so we can say cadence as a tag. Yeah, plus one to that. Yeah, yeah. It was like a keyword, that. not a tag, right? Keyword? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. 
so we've had that discussion so that's good um and that was a good point to note i added publish a release of their software does that make it more clear to people yes okay yes. But I was like, one thought that came to my mind is like, is it just focused to the software? For example, we are releasing the metric and updating it. So we have different versions or even, mm -hmm. so is it just, and we are not releasing the uh, software. It, we are releasing an artifact. So could we yeah. call it a software or artifact? Not sure. I mean, it is a release of software. And it's, I mean, in, on the platforms, it becomes an artifact and in the package managers, it becomes an artifact because it's, you can install a specific version number. Vinod's point is like the SPDX community. Yes. I mean, they okay. the, the standard. And what do they call it? What would be the, what would be the difference in language? I don't know. I yes. mean, Vinod suggested artifact. You know, there's no so release of the software recently an release of an artifact. Maybe, maybe we can write something like uh, artifact, something like this release of the software slash artifact. Do we need to specify updates uh, or versions, anything like that? Or is it yeah. better to state kind of general? I don't have the SPDX language at the ready, but I think it sounds logical to mirror that. I don't know what that would be, though. Well, what do people think of software slash artifact? Vinod, what do you think of it? Uh, that's what I proposed. Well, yeah, that, that's, that's right, what he wrote. So, all right, yeah, okay, all right, we're good on, then. Kevin. All right, all right, we're good. Okay. We good? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think that I think that makes sense. Would there be spaces there? Like this? Uh, Whoops. Nope, not like that. My cursor isn't where I thought it was. Like that? Yeah, maybe. Yes. Okay. Um anybody have any other feedback on the keywords? Is this too many? Is this this is good. I'm gonna assume it's those good. are the keywords that I would uh yeah they come keywords. to mind. Come yeah. To mind. This is the I, as far as I know, the first keyword that puts the working group name in it. So I don't have any problem with it. It's just a note. Oh, I don't think it is the first because the uh, I I I based this a little bit on some others. I looked at another metric um they list the working and group i think they listed the working group i think it was okay. maybe a risk metric okay should i just delete that like do we i don't have a problem with it i just don't think i had particularly seen it well i think if nobody else is doing it then we then we can just okay we can just get rid of it i like to keep things as simple as we possibly can um i i have a quick question sorry yeah. um when when we do the search, someone remind me, does it look at, it doesn't look at the question, it will only look at the keywords, because we don't, we don't have software in there, do we need the word software, as opposed to like community, or is that, would that be a context tag? I don't remember. On the website, the search is based on the title of the metric, the context tags, and the keywords, uh, because these documents are stored separately from the website. It does not search the uh, the document externally uh, that I that I'm aware of. Although there there may be some cache searching, uh, but we haven't we haven't been able to uh, get a definitive answer on that yet. Should we should we add software or development cycle any of that stuff? I suppose like community, you know. I think it would kind of... it would make sense to add software to the keyword. Software is also one of our context tags. So oh, then to... actually, yeah, 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 it would, yeah, would make sense to add it as a context tag. Then, yeah, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Okay. Does somebody want to add it as a context tag? Since I'm not sure exactly what it was called. Was it just software? Yes. Okay, because I know yeah. we need to be super consistent on those. Okay. 
Um, I think these changes all look good. Does anybody anybody object? No. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think that's I think that's a good uh, point. One thought uh, we normally point as like DEI. Many people are not still aware of D what DEI stands for. So should we elaborate it or we just use the acronym? No, you're absolutely right. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, that's template. So this, this again was in the metric that I was modeling this after. It had aggregators and parameters. They weren't subheadings for the template, but this is where they were. Okay. The implementation. Um, and this one I accidentally copied over. I, so I think I was looking at something to deal with change requests, maybe. Okay. Um, now, I, I may have copied this from, I, I just, I opened a couple of metrics and kind of looked at them to make sure I was being consistent. Yeah. I may have, I may have used an anomalous metric to be consistent with in which case. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've done that before. It doesn't, it doesn't help. <laughs> I've done that before. <laughs> should I should I just get rid of these? Because I, I don't know if we need them. I mean, can they are they possible to move to filters? Is that we we generally we generally do push aggregators and parameters into into filters in a lot of the working okay. groups. Uh we don't, um, we don't we don't use the those headings that often okay so uh, our filters are used pretty consistently though so yeah i'm just wondering i mean do we do we even need these like you know we've got period of time the start and finish date of the period but we've got here we've got dates which is actually what you would filter on to get that information so i'm kind of thinking that we maybe just don't need any of this are they part of the are they part of the definition or part of the uh i added i came up with parameters and aggregators because i thought i needed them i don't think these actually add anything um i feel they are being more clear like you need a start and end and see how many uh, how uh, how frequently you release within that time period it can be a start of a project until date or it can be some pattern you know you see different structures or time cycles within a project so should i just do should i just do this oops oh. yeah yeah that that was fine even sorry yep 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 Okay. Like that. Yes. And then just get rid of this. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that's a good. We do, we do some, uh, we do sometimes add text in between the implementation header and the filter header that that describes the implementation. Mm -hmm. So we we could describe the implementation in there as well. Uh, if it if it makes more sense to just straight up kind of describe what we what what it is we're measuring. Uh, although that should be in the definition as well. So yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. 
So if, it, if it's in the definition, I would say it's, it's not necessary, but if there's any, if there's a specific implementation that we're describing, then we could add that guidance here as well. But I, I don't, I don't think it's necessary. I think the, uh, the definition is fine. And then the, the filters are very descriptive. Um, so Sean, you suggested replacing the period with a colon, but the rest of them I used. I'm cool with, I'm cool with whatever. Um, I don't have a strong yeah. opinion. Is, is there a, like yeah. I said, I think I used I, an anomalous metric as a model for, for making this. Do we normally use colons for this? Is that better? Okay. What were you looking yeah. at? Time what? period. What were you I, I just, at the time yes. period. Oh, oh, okay. So I'm sorry. Oh, was... oh no, at the bytes. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever you think is best. I don't know that we have a standard it, on um, that. Okay. <laughs> okay. It bothered me to see a period followed by a lowercase letter, but that's like my issue. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is super inconsistent. So let's just fix that. Um, how about if I fix it with, I'm gonna reject that one. You're on. And accept that one. Okay, how's that? Yeah, it's consistent. That's, that's, that's a measure of success. As long as the metric's internally consistent. And if it's consistent across metrics, even better. Okay. Uh, that looks good. Um, so those are just a kind of a couple of comments about the tools. Um, yeah. I mean, maybe, yeah. uh, do we still have Luis on the call? No. Um, Luis, are you still, he looks like he's still here. He is here. Yes, yes, there he is. Thank you. Does, uh, does Grimoire Lab have, have this data about the releases? No, not yet. Okay. Okay. Um, so Augur, Augur has it, but apparently it's not in the, we don't put it in the front end anywhere right now. Okay. So, um, okay. So I'm just going to resolve this. So we've got a visualization that Yuhui created from OSS compass. So we've got, um, that here, and then I have the visualization from Augur using my weird uh weird graph it's a jupiter notebook well it's actually a script you see the jupiter notebook because that's what i share with you but it's oh a, okay uh, a <laughs> python script right i have a python script that spits these out do we have a reference to that because we tried to give a reference to the images from where we are obtaining uh yes so i would say that the reference is this lightning talk uh, is that okay yes that is fine can you just mention below the image as a reference for the lightning talk or something? I think Maybe. you look for a caption. Do, do this. Yes. Here, Here you go ahead and do it. I'll do it. Yeah, let's do it. Um, yeah, perfect. Uh, okay, perfect. Okay, good. Good, good. So I'm just gonna accept all these because that looks good. I'm adding one more. Another, oh, another reference, perfect. Yeah, and I'm resisting my innate urge to caption all visualizations. <laughs> The reference numbers are sufficient. Okay, so we'll do the we'll do the same thing for the compass one. Oh right, add it as a reference. Yeah. Um, the numbers need to be sequential in the document. Uh, 
you know, I, or is it okay that I'm just randomly cares? adding yeah, numbers? Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, that's fine. But make people wonder. Yeah. Yeah. I can fix that later. Um, okay. Any any final <clears throat> thoughts on this? Looks good. Yeah. Okay. So I will take the action item. You is this in the spreadsheet, Don? Because I can do all that stuff too. No, I totally forgot to do that. Yeah. Okay. If you could do that, that'd be great. I can do that. Okay. So I'll do a PR for release. And I'm gonna Me? put this under time, just so you know. That makes sense. Okay. Okay, now we have the basic project health metrics model. Now that we have the um, release frequency metric. Okay. Do we, do we want to spend a few minutes and look through this or since that some of that actually happened in the metrics model meeting. Do we just want to talk about it? Does anybody have a preference? I think if we look, I think I think the metrics model meeting, as Elizabeth stated earlier, wanted this group to look at the metrics model. Okay. So let's just spend uh, five minutes and uh, have a look. Um, I have a comment and a question. So I like the uh, model, but my question is why these four? Why not any other? Uh, I was stuck in that be logic. Question, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because these are these are the four that I've been using. Um, and so uh I was trying so I to think understand these, some logic. Yeah. So we, um, what, I know that time is a, a factor in how well a project adopts, uh, integrates new contributors. If you are slow to respond mm -hmm. to issues, slow to close issues, that impedes new contributor uptake because people don't like their stuff to linger. They, they disengage. So I... I think those are good ones. And I think release frequency provides a very, a very useful indication of whether or not a project is active and how the activity level perhaps has changed over time. Um, and bus, we, bus, bus factors, I think kind of, I don't know, I, I don't have a good explanation for why it's useful, but it's, it seems pretty useful. Can we add these justifications down here at the bottom of why it matters for each metric? Would that make sense? Yeah, I can do that. I can take a shot at that. Yeah, I thought it was in here somewhere. Um, yeah, okay. So yeah, it's actually down, in the yeah. metric specific insights section is where this is all documented. Um, so each one of these has, uh, uh, some thoughts on why it's important. And so that that's all in the insights section. Okay. Does that need to be somewhere else? Should I have put that in? No, I think it's I think it's fine where it is. Yeah, okay. I, I like the quick review at the top so people can see the metrics and then the more elaboration below. Okay. Um, I think people are more likely to read on that structure. Yeah. Okay. And 
And you know, to get back to the notes question, so these these are the four metrics that I've been using because I feel like it's a it's a representative group of a small metric, small small set of metrics that that captures kind of you know across various areas of the project, kind of four things that I think personally are are particularly important. So getting at Sean's comment is you know, responding, responding quickly to things uh, so that people feel like their contributions are welcome so that we get more contributors. Um, actually taking the time to close pull requests, um, even if they're not merged, but closing them with, um, you know, not merged or whatever, I think helps. Um, so like the, the first one is like the, the response time is really designed to make sure that, you know, people are seeing some engagement initially with their metrics. The time to close is um, a signal that a project is not getting behind. So, uh, sorry, um, yeah. Um, time to close is more around making sure that they're not getting behind. So if they're, they're just never closing PRs, all of a sudden the PRs are gonna back up and they're gonna end up with a big pile of abandoned uh, pull requests, which is not, not what you wanna see on a project. Um, bus factor gets at the people side of things. And then release so, frequency for me is mostly about security. Um, you know, in addition to like bug fixes yeah. and new features, but it's it's making sure that the any security updates are actually landing in a release where the user can pick it up. Yeah, that's a that's a very good point. So I yeah. thought that these four kind of were a, a good sample across the whole project. Um, so these are these are just the ones that I've I've been using for the, for that reason. Does that make sense? Yes, it now it makes perfect sense. But I have a little uh, like maybe my opinion on the bus factor is like, but I feel bus factor is a little more complex than a basic metric. How about adding a number of contributors or some kind showing the contributor? Though bus factor is focused on the contributor aspect, but I feel it's more complex or, or more higher level than a journal. A number mm -hmm. of contributors, like how many contributors are actively engaged in the project or some other uh, measure of the contributor rather than a bus factor. Just my two cents. What do, what do other people think? Bus factor boils down the number of active contributors and looks at their proportional contributions. So it is a higher, more abstract metric for looking at the things that Vinod is talking about. Mm -hmm. um, bus, and, and I think, like I don't, I don't have a super strong opinion. I think if you looked at number of active contributors, you'd end up with essentially the data that lies beneath bus factor mm. um, instead of the bus factor. And I don't. I don't have a strong opinion about whether or not that's a good thing. I think if the bus factor looks bad, it maybe compels you to look deeper. You know, for example, if it if it comes out to like one, that yeah. might compel you to really look a little bit more deeply into the project. Um, bus bus factor is also something that um, gives you a sense of how contributions have evolved over time, and you can constrain bus factor by time period. Um, so, yeah. and like I said, I don't have a strong opinion. Yeah, the reason I use bus factor is because if I was gonna measure just one thing about contributors, that's the one that I thought maybe made the most sense. But Luis, sorry, you have your hand up. Yeah, thank you. Well, I, I do have a strong, a strong opinion about, about bus factor and it is one of the key metrics. And just as an example, uh, when the ASA Foundation was a study, what they call the pony factor, which is, is the same as, as we are defining, but the bus factor in chaos, they got the result for open SSL, which is the, they say, <laughs> and, uh, and the bus factor was, was, was two or one. So yeah. I think it was, it was, it was two. So two people yeah. were doing the majority of the, of the, of the code contributions to, to uh, these very critical uh, library. So, so, so I, I do think we, we need it. So, okay. So. Yeah, the downside to number of contributors is it if there are a lot of people who have contributed very small, teeny tiny things, um, mm -hmm. it can it can mask the fact that there's a problem. 
um, like like what you saw with OpenSSL. Uh, I think bus factor may be more relevant when we look at the different sizes that projects can be as well. Uh, so I, I think bus factor is relevant for small projects. Bus factor is relevant for large projects. Whereas when when we start when we if we were just looking at the number of active contributors, uh, the relevance of that number may be or the way we understand that number is probably going to be different for small projects versus large projects. So that I think the bus factor kind of works in in different contexts. So I, I like bus factor. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, so let's go ahead and just uh, just kind of start um, through this. Um, yeah, I think Kevin makes a good point that that probably doesn't belong at the very beginning. Um, and yes, Elizabeth, I will change those to the stable stable metrics because that totally makes totally makes sense. I will also make that change. We have a bunch of metrics models that are to be released. So I'll go back and make that change to them as well. And we also have metrics that cross reference mm -hmm. other metrics. <laughs> so I was, as, as you put that comment in there, I was like, oh, that's a big comment, <laughs> actually. Did you mean to add a space there, Sean? No, the no, okay. I, I think that was uh, Sean, like his keyboard while he was on the page without realizing not a problem. Um, and this was a question. I'll, I'll leave that answer in case you who he hasn't seen that yet because time zones are hard. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and resolve this one because that was from a while ago. That was a question about the type of contribution. And so what I've tried to do in this is be as consistent as I possibly can with um, the actual definition of these individual metrics. So I've tried to be consistent with definitions as defined. Um, that one we've resolved. Um, cool. Is there a is there a way we can better kind of differentiate the title of this metric? maybe uh, kind of separate it from that that idea of a basic health metrics model. Yeah, what do people think about the title? I struggled with coming up with a title for this metrics model. So I'm open to better ideas for sure. I mean, it, it's accurate, but I, but I worry about creating these models in the future. Yeah. So if, if there's some way that we can differentiate this model, uh, even if it was just a matter of calling it like the, the foster health metrics model or something like that. So uh, yeah, um, that's, it's interesting because there are other metrics models that one might look at. So how do I decide on which one to use? And I think I really do think this addresses a, a critical problem that we heard expressed at OspelCon and Stockholm gone where people are like, I got so much data, I don't know what to do with it. And mm -hmm. this is this is like a funnel to, okay, if you can only look at certain, just look at these four things and you'll get like an overview of, of what it looks like on your projects. I think, so something, so basic project health or even like step um, project health metric step one model or- We had one called project health 101 at one point that Emma had started or for four metric health model for ospo basic ospo something with ospo in it since that's really the use case here yeah i like that maybe ospo four metric model ospo ospo, ospo project health starter model if if we are keeping ospo in the title and then in the user stories we are focusing on the community manager and the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. too yeah, um, yeah, so. there's the often useless upper level construct of stakeholder but that doesn't really communicate very clearly i mean to be fair like as a community manager personally i don't know that this model would necessarily apply 100 percent 
like bus factor may not, I may care more about the demographics, for instance, of our contributor base or sure. something like that, you know, so um, maybe, maybe it is specific to OSPOs. I don't know, just throwing that out there. Yeah. I actually, them. you, so you say that and I, um, I think maybe I should delete the community manager one because I actually don't encourage our community managers to use my metrics. I encourage them to install something like, so we're using uh, Paturtia, we're using Grimoire Lab for the community managers because they really need to like dig into every single aspect of, of the community. And this is way too simple for a community manager. What about something that incorporates project risk in the title? Because I think what this metrics model is really useful for is if I want that first high level metric model to identify projects that may have risk. Um, this, this, this is a place that I might start. Mm -hmm. Now there's, there, you know, you could, there are certainly other more elaborate risk metric models that can be developed. But I mean, like you pointed out with uh, OpenSSL, these, these are the metrics that people could look at to see there's a problem there. OSPO for metric risk model. I, I actually don't want to call it risk mainly because okay. we have a working group around risk. And I think that will be confusing for people um, because while I do focus on, on risk as a part of this, I, I kind of, um, yeah, I, I think the focus should be project health, health yeah. rather than, than risk. Okay. I'll go with that. How about we call it simple project health metric model? It's like very simple to four metrics, not going in the complexity. Simple four, met yeah. four metric health model. Health model. Like that? Yeah, the four. Yeah. Maybe have four metric project health model and. Yes. This would be the only one that has a number of metrics in the title. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Simple project health metrics model. Maybe this that looks, fits. Yeah, this, this fits much better, I think. I, I, I might suggest instead of simple start the word starter, um, because I think, I think that's kind of the intention here. Yes. I think start, starter is better. Yeah, I like starter too. Okay. So it's descript it's descriptive of the purpose, whereas simple yeah. or basic isn't isn't really descriptive of the purpose. It's just yeah. so that, yeah, this this resolves my concern. Okay, that's a really good point. And should it be starter project health metrics model or project health starter metrics model? No, I think starter at the beginning. Yeah. I like starter yeah. at the beginning. Yeah, me too. I don't so, have a do we, why. so do we need to call these metric as a basic metric or just metric? Because this uh in the text here. you mean? Yes. I'm I'm okay yeah. with the word basic in the text, but you can change it. Or we could just delete it. It doesn't necessarily yeah. How about key or important? Because these are these these metrics yeah. are these are these are kind of yeah. really important metrics, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. I like I like key part. And yeah, I mean these are the other wording. I can I mean, we could wordsmith this in it infinitely. Yeah. The other wording that comes to mind is th these are four metric models that provide or four metrics that provide strong signals of project health. Yeah. Maybe not comprehensive signals, but strong. Uh, can you? We are, we are at time. Oh, golly. Oh, wow, how did that happen? <laughs> this... um, yeah. Okay. Are there any, were there any more comments on this or did we, did people just not get to the end to read it? I love it. I think this is a great model. Yeah. So, nice yeah. job, Don. Yeah, really great job. I think, I think when this comes back to the metrics model working group, you know, it's going to fly through. Okay. Um, so who, since I, since those are at midnight, my time, <laughs> um, does someone want to take the action item to just bring it back into the metrics model working group and discuss it? For sure. That's, you yeah. can. 
easy. That's easy enough to put on the agenda. Yeah, I think it probably already is on the agenda for the next one because we said have this group look at it and then we'll look at it again. Reminder to add your names to the document. Oh, yeah, good uh, point. Thank you, Kevin. When is the next um, metrics model meeting? It'll be a week from next Tuesday, so like whatever. Two weeks. Yeah, right before okay. chaos. Right before chaos con, I think. Okay, so I will find January thirty first. Um, yes. Cool. Okay. I'll just clean up those those URLs and a few other a few other things. Um, uh, Sean, are you still working on contributor location? Yes. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, right, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, put it in my. I'll answer. just. I'll just. Um. How about if I just bring all of this back into the into the next meeting? Yeah. Next meeting. Yeah. And I'm putting contributor location on my. Cool. Updated to do list system. Okay. Well, thank you all so much. I know we just ran over time, but I feel like we got a ton of stuff done so th and thank you all so much for all of the feedback on the metrics and the metrics model I think that was really really useful for me awesome yeah, that, great job done. Great. thanks great. everyone yeah great job right. done. Thanks, thanks everybody, everybody. Thanks. have a great bye. weekend you too. bye, bye.